Hi everyone, I'm on holiday from my China University teaching job. Uh, I've uh, come to France now with my family for our uh, holiday together and we've just arrived at a um, family's place in France and I was driving, my dad and I were driving through the night so we haven't slept yet but uh, I just wanted to crack on straight away without sleeping on my electric solar boat project. So that's what I'll show you in this video. Hope you like it. Here's the setup. This little boat is a sport yak. Very old. Uh, my uncle used to play in this as a kid. And you can see in a previous video of mine called the uh, sort of bathtub boat sailing video. We made a sail rig for that. That was last year. And this year, here we have it. Solar powered electric boat. So I've got a water snake, uh, 24 pound salt water capable electric outboard here. Propellers not attached. Uh, propellers just in there two blade weedless prop uh, got um, lightweight oars here ready in case of emergency to get back massive uh, to be honest with you uh, the battery I got was way too big 85 amp hours weighs 19 kilograms uh, hopefully the boat won't sink we'll see about that soon 50 watt solar panel 50 watt solar panel uh, should be able to um, put out a couple of amps in uh, good sun uh, and the charge controller is just here good old duct tape to connect it to the plank so what happens is the solar panel is wired to the charge controller I put these um, uh, Hobby King radio control uh, model uh, connectors here I soldered those on uh, that goes into the charge controller controller and then from the charge controller these wires come out and go to charge the battery and then from there these crop clips will also connect to the terminals I've got dual terminals here as well to make it easier on this battery and they power the motor so there it is there's the setup so um, I could have got I think in retrospect I may have been better off getting a smaller battery maybe 40 amp hours or something but now I've gone for a, a um, sealed lead acid battery here, it's not gel cell or anything fancy like that because they're all so expensive. I mean, my budget here, I wanted to be under £300 and I've spent sort of 340 overall. So it got very expensive, so I cut back on the battery cost a bit. In the future I'd go for a bigger panel, smaller battery. You know guys, I'm going solar crazy these days. I really am. I've even got a little solar panel here which can um, charge the devices via USB. So here we are just putting it all in the car. We, we could put the back end up high and have the whole thing slanting down. It goes in further. Oh, I could do that. I think this will be all right. And we're going to uh, tension up this. Yeah. Have the door down. That's it. That's going to hold it in. So here we go. We're uh, driving the boat over to the lake. Uh, there's a the boat in the back and I'm driving incredibly slowly and gently so that nothing falls out. Nice, uh, nice sunny day today, good conditions. Uh, by the time I get to the lake, it'll be about um, uh, 3.20 in the afternoon. So uh, just past the, the sun's uh, zenith time, but it should still be good. So um, see you at the lake. Here we go. Is that prop clear? Oh, oh, the prop will be underwater much more when I'm in the boat. Yes, it will. Yeah. Here we go. Wow, hey. Yeah. <laughs> So what did you think about that, Mr. Briggs? Very impressive, Mr. Briggs. It uh, rent possibly quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby.
Well, here we are, guys. The project is a success. I'm so happy about this. Oh, good morning. So, oh, this is so good. This is on the low speed setting. There's only two speed settings in forward and two for reverse. This is brilliant. I mean, with this much sun hitting that panel, I, I, going at this rate, I'd probably get a um, at least a 20% increase in range, I'd estimate, non-stop uh, motor running. So that's really good. So nice out here. Woo! Hot though. Although then again, compared to China, this is quite a pleasant heat. You may recognize this setting from uh, my other videos, uh, windsurfing and uh, the sailing in this boat. Motor's going very nicely. Got some waves, got some waves off that boat. Here we go. Okay, yeah, all good, all good. Whoa, 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 yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. More of these freaking waves. Oh. By the way, if any of you are wondering why I'm not wearing a buoyancy aid or a life jacket, well, I have one, but I forgot it today. Hey, I'm a fox. It's okay. It's okay. You know, when I was a little boy, uh, I always wanted a little boat with an outboard motor. And now at the age of 29, I uh, finally got around to doing it. But you know, now with the solar panel, uh, it's just that much better. That much better. Ah, oh, I love this setup. I'm loving this so much. Oh, here comes the ski boat. If I get any massive waves, I'm gonna get some water coming in. That's why I've got my um, sponge baler here to soak up water and get the water over the edge if I, in a hurry if I need to. Oh, so nice out here. I am so tired from driving through the night to come from England to go here, but oh, I just could not wait to do this and it was so worth it, so worth the tiredness. Oh, look at that. Here comes the big boat with the big waves. <laughs> Extension arms just fallen off. Uh, doesn't matter. Just put it back on. gone across the lake had a swim on the other side now it's time to head back back to that old castle area where I started off from it's been so good today on its first run so happy with this project 
Hey everyone, this is me back on the lake on another day, a few days after the first footage I took. And this time obviously got a buoyancy aid, but also, oh, here's a massive dam by the way. This is a big hydroelectric dam. It always reminds me of James Bond every time I'm here. Massive dam. So I'm at one end of the lake. These are the um, exclusion zone buoys that say do not go past here because of the danger of the hydroelectric dam at the end which can uh, suck in water at any time to uh, power its hydroelectric generators. So, so since last time I've got this um, multimeter so I'm able to see what um, the voltage is like on the battery um, so I can find out how much energy I've got left and I can also see what the um, solar panel is contributing to the, the charge of the battery. And the other day I, I checked the uh, number of amps the uh, panel was providing. It was half past four in the afternoon, no cloud in the way of the sun, and the panel was providing 2.3 amps. So that, that pretty much confirmed my estimates. Uh, quite happy about that. So. Here it is guys, um, again continuing to be really happy with the project. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you've got any questions about the setup or if you want to say anything else, do leave a comment and please subscribe for more, uh, more foxy action. See you in the next video. Bye guys.